Hey guys, thanks for checking in on me this week. Mike St. Romain with GDB Custom Coatings and Vinyl. A lot of us out there with hot rods and boats and trucks and other toys. We always replace the steering wheel because we really like add that new aesthetics you get with a good steering wheel. One of the good ones that I found on eBay, pretty reasonably priced, under like 60 bucks. Billet aluminum wheel, you see them in almost every hot rod you see at a car show. But I'm sure many of you have seen the same thing that I have. One little bump of anything hard and the vinyl that's covering it just tears or it'll start to peel or whatever. So here's mine. I pulled the vinyl covering off of it. We're going to do this in two steps here. Um, one, I'm going to sand and black the steering wheel out. Um, and I'm going to probably do a black carbon fiber on the horn button or something like that. Not 100% sure yet. But the one thing that I wanted to address today is the covering. I don't know if any of you have ever actually taken the steering wheel apart, but under the, under the vinyl, it's just a plastic ring. So I've put a nice metallic gray base on this. It's already been sanded and ready to go. And I'm gonna put a black burl wood green on it and then we're gonna go back over it with some epoxy and put about three layers of epoxy on it to give it about a quarter of an inch buildup of epoxy then put it back on the wheel. Stick with me, let's see how it turns out. Films on the water. Timers are running. <coughs> Got the garage all shut down and closed up tight, so we're going to throw this bad boy on. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, guys, here we go. We're putting the first coat of epoxy on it. We've been mixing it for about two minutes.
We will let it be. It'll sit till tomorrow sometime. Probably let it sit most of the day. I think I'm gonna probably actually let it sit for at least 24 hours before I start to clean it up. And then I'll take the Dremel tool and get all the drips you see. Most of those drip are actually hard already. But we'll take the Dremel tool and zip them off of there. And then we'll sand it with about three different stages. We'll go from like 500 to 1,000 to 1,200. We might even bump it up to about 2,000 grit. And then we'll polish the shit out of it. So, hang tight, more to come. polish a little bit of time goes a long ways let's see if you can make out that wood green <coughs> I think it turned out real well but the one thing I will offer is this is not a afternoons project um, in between each coat of epoxy I waited approximately you know, 12 to 14 hours to let it get good and firm to where I could handle it without leaving any fingerprints in it. So this this whole project's taken about a week from the time of prepping it for paint, um, dipping it, letting it dry for probably four to six hours, 
then coming back, putting the first coat of epoxy, waiting till the next day around lunchtime, putting another coat of epoxy on it. Then I waited till um, the next morning, first thing in the morning, right before I left for work. Put the second coat, third put coat of epoxy went on that night before I go to, went to bed. And I've let it sit for about 24 hours before I started grinding the little nibs off from the drips and doing the polish work on it. And it could still polish out even more than it is, but I wanted to get the video wrapped up so I could get it released out to you guys. Uh, so if you really like what you see and you enjoyed how the process went, uh, or if you have any questions, you know, I mean, if this is something you're considering doing yourself and you've got a question, uh, the links for all the materials that I use, the epoxy that I use, and the, the paint that I used will all be in the description below. So check out the website www.g2b custom coatings and vinyl all one word dot com let me know what you think leave me some comments love to hear from you thanks for your time take care